in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed they went Reverend Canon, you are crying, but let me tell you, the burden that is on you is more than just a man trying to make a name. It's prophecy. Many of you here, you are walking. You just think you are moving, but there is an ancient prophecy driving you. That thing making you not to sleep when others, when others are sleeping, you cannot sleep. It's more than you. It's more than an ambition. It's prophecy. Enoch is crying within your territory the spirit of intimacy where are the men and the women who will hunger after God your spiritual climate is saturated with the spirit, the cry. There is a cry of the spirit over Onisha, over the east of the Niger. Where are those who must arise in this season in power to love and hunger after God? Men and women alike. Oh. I step into a territory the Holy Spirit will reveal to me what he desires to do I went to bed yesterday and in the dream of the night I was taken somewhere I don't know where within your region and I saw graves that's what I saw suddenly there was like light from heaven and graves began to open this is what I saw I saw people that were dead coming back to life Your city will not only be known for business, it will be known as careers of fire. There will be restoration of mantles and graces. It's not only buying and selling. No, fishers of men, makers of destinies. Please sit down for a minute. We're about to pray. There are two spirits that foreign revival. Number one is Enoch, a representation of hunger and passion and fire. The second spirit is Elijah, 
the spirit of prayer and supplication that restores the ordinances of God and the patterns of God again he said before the great and terrible day of the Lord Elijah will come again when John came to forerun Jesus he came in the spirit and the power of Elijah prayer supplication prayer that opens the heavens oh that thou wouldest rend the heavens he says please hear me believers God is not wasting your time tonight the revival that will come out from this night will surprise you once again the altar of the Lord will be built because fire is about to come from heaven when the prophets of Baal tried from morning till night the Bible says when it was the time of the evening sacrifice Elijah said build me with 12 stones let me remind God of his covenant now watch this please sit down we have to pray because I need to minister to you now we have to walk with time just a few minutes and we're done I don't intend to keep you hear this the first assignment of Elijah is to restore the patterns of God because you see the spirit of the Antichrist that is represented in that she goddess called Jezebel is a spirit that attempts to frustrate the purposes of God and empower the prophets of Baal under the leadership of Jezebel she is a spirit that seeks government she is activated only when she marries the king the Bible talks about her in Revelations 18 that in one hour Babylon the great is fallen is fallen is become a habitation of demons the kings and the merchants of the earth who have lived luxuriously through their fornication with her that goddess that sits upon a horse the Antichrist system Jezebel it says all the kings will bemoan her and said in one hour is your judgment come Jezebel is a businesswoman. The Bible now begins to list all the things that she sells. And one of the things she sells is the souls of men. Hear me. There must be a restoration of the spirit of prayer within your territory. There must be a restoration. Those of you who are on campus, read your book study but in addition to your study don't leave god behind anything minus god is nothing there are families right now hearing me and i'm speaking apostolically go back and restore the altar of prayer again before you made it you prayed in the night before you slept when you woke up in the morning now i am busy it's a deception because an attack is coming every time an attack is coming the spirit of fear and the spirit of carelessness and coldness comes upon a people while men slept for some of you this is not how you started with God when you started with God your fire how dare you miss times of prayer how dare you miss times of the word how dare you can listen to worship for hours but right now five minutes and you've slept it's an attack wake up the altars that fought your father have seen that you are rising to become a voice and they are now coming to you they want to bring you down Elijah, Enoch, intimacy and passion with God, prayer and supplication. Because nothing happens in this side of God's kingdom until there is a union between the spirit and the bride. It is the spirit and the bride that tells the word, come. When the spirit says healing, come, the bride on earth must echo it to healing, come, for healing to come. 
when the spirit says revival come the bride must also say revival come it is the spirit and the bride the spirit is ever willing to come upon your territory but there must be brides enough brides indeed who are ready to say maranatha god in a new way come upon the land of onicha can i tell you this you will begin to see revivals break out in marketplaces people are buying and selling suddenly the power of god comes on someone and he's listening to a message he will come on his knees and say even though i just bought something from you lead me to jesus people will wake up with dreams and start running on the street by sunday when you come to your church your gate is closed but you will find people holding on to the gate and crying i don't know the name of what is happening to me but i need to repent i need jesus Please hear me. Please hear me. We're about to pray. I may not be able to mention all the other ones because our time is gone. But sufficient is the charge for tonight. We need a restoration of hunger and love for God. Onisha, do not lose the spiritual heritage God has given you to the devil. You now see that when your spiritual life goes down, it's a matter of time. Your business will start having issues issues you can't explain you are losing money anyhow you are not even explaining someone is cheating you someone is defrauding you they are all symptoms of something that is going wrong in the realm of the spirit I have come like I said to join faith with all the fathers within the land all the veterans of the gospel and together we are going to lift up a banner that says Jesus is still king over Onisha. And this night we will announce to every devil, Onisha is not an idol worship place. Anambra is for Jesus. And every home is for Jesus. Thank God for what the fathers worship. But here comes a generation that only believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the son of the living God but like I taught in the morning cheap confession is not where it stops there must be grace to defend what we are saying is that true so on it shall hear me let every other name fade away let every other name fade away till there's only four things will happen now very quickly number one listen carefully I requested by the spirit that we bring our prayer requests four things very quickly number one is we're going to be praying and then I will be ministering to the sick I may not have the time to prophesy because our time is gone and we have to respect the time but I want to pray for the sick and I want to pray for people who are oppressed miracle signs and wonders are a revelation of number one the love of the father number two the power of God I believe in miracles I believe the man standing before you is a living miracle there was a time I was diagnosed with a fungal infection that literally ate my head and it was as though hair would never grow again I know what it means to taste of the power of God I am a miracle So I want you to be prepared to wave goodbye to every infirmity. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. Never suffer long with evil. Evil always comes pregnant. When you host it, it will give birth to many other disasters in your life. So I'll pray for the sick. If time permits, we could take one or two testimonies. Number two, the second thing that will happen here 
is we're going to be praying for the requests this is the most accurate representation of your desires and we're going to be praying and declaring over it number three like I requested in the morning I may respectfully request even just for a minute or two maybe one or two of the fathers of faith the veterans of the gospel to come stand with me to represent the unity of the church in Onicha we're going to close that divide that has given Satan allowance and we're going to speak over the territory the final thing we're going to do is I'm going to stand apostolically and every gate over this city that is closed we are opening the two-leaf gates for every good thing that must come into the city are we in agreement please rise up on your feet prayer point number one father arise like the mighty God that you are bring me healing bring me deliverance right now lift your voice and pray my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by give me an encounter tonight in the name of Jesus give me a supernatural visitation hallelujah now listen Acts chapter 10 please and verse 38 I'm about to pray for the sick now Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 it says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth Peter is teaching the first message preached to the Gentiles. This will be the first salvation of the Gentiles. This was in the house of Cornelius. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, it says, with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible records that he went about doing good. It takes the anointing to do good. It takes more than a good heart. Went about doing good, listen carefully, and healing not they that were sick, they that were oppressed every sickness is an oppression every sickness hallelujah now I want to pray listen very carefully please wherever you are trusting God for a miracle all through this magnificent theater and the, so many outside I'd like you to lay your hands there right now. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Go ahead. Now arise, O oh Lord, would you come to your resting place? You and the ark of your might. Then we will rejoice. As we clothe in your righteousness, we celebrate your love. Listen, I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Stand in agreement and shout a loud amen when I begin to pray. The healing power of Jesus is mighty in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome in this place. There are two ladies who are going to shout very loud to the hearing of everybody. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. I don't know why these things happen. These are signs and wonders. The Lord does it to bring glory to himself. Now I'm ready to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, such such anointing flowing to people right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I rebuke every devil of infirmity every spirit that is back of help them please every spirit that is back of any sickness 
in the name of Jesus I command that you go now by the power that raised Jesus from the dead I speak to your body be healed now be healed my God be healed now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone you have a problem with the left side of your ear I'm seeing the power of God touching you right now the left side of your ear be healed in the name of Jesus every blood condition here that needs to be changed we change it now in the name of Jesus the Lord is ministering to me I'm seeing someone I don't know what is wrong with the left your right your right up, up from your kneecap I don't know if it's a sprain of something of that sort the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing a gentleman your rib just around this area I don't know what has been happening I don't know if you broke it or you've been having severe pain right now as I'm praying the power of God is touching you migraines help them please my god the power of god is touching people here migraine headaches in the name of jesus be healed now everyone with any malignant growth around your body fibroids tumors of all sorts by the power that raised christ from the dead i command they disappear from your body now blood pressure low blood pressure be healed now the Lord is showing me two ladies I'm seeing you have for one you have like a lump for the other you have multiple lumps around the breast area after the prayer I want you to check it that devil must leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ help them don't worry we'll take testimonies just just be patient now anyone on a wheelchair inside or outside you're on a wheelchair or you're on a crutch stand up now in the name of Jesus Christ rise up and walk now there's someone I'm seeing you have I don't know if it's palpitations when you stand you keep breathing and very heavy breath it looks like something is wrong with you the power of God is touching you right now the power of God is touching you right now. Um, please don't be embarrassed. You don't have to come out and pray. I'm seeing a woman, whether it's the time for your monthly circle or not, you're having severe bleeding. It can come at any time. This has, you've lost blood. This has, this has even affected you health-wise. Right now, that bleeding stops this moment. In the name of Jesus, help her, help her. That devil leaves you now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing someone, I don't know if it's a growth or some sort of discomfort around your throat like a swelling. In the name of Jesus, let it go now. The Lord is showing me someone you don't see very well from a distance. I don't know what the problem is, but right now the power of God will come on you and you will begin to see me clearly from where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every chest problem be healed now. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five people in my vision. I'm seeing pile. Pile. Very, for one, there's a very severe case of pile. You cannot even go to the toilet because it looks like you are just, it looks like it's just some sort of hemorrhage or so. In the name of Jesus, right here, I declare be healed now. The Lord is showing me someone you've been seeing dead people. The people that have died and gone every night, they come to you and it's like they are calling you. I declare every covenant that connects you. Apakatoshala. In the name of Jesus, you are delivered from the power of the grave. Now, hear me. Whether I mention your case or not, we're going to do this very quickly. Whether I mention your case or not, 
be healed right now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Now, for the sake of time, we'll just walk with a few people and then the rest, they can share it after now. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Many of you, even whilst you fell on the, under the anointing, you found out that miracles right now have happened to you. When there are people like that, please, let's have one or two officials. I'd like you very quickly to allow them as you check yourself to just come here. We'll take a few testimonies to let on each other know that Jesus is Lord. And then we'll pray on this and we'll be ready for the final impartation. Is that fine? Now, very quickly, check yourself. Let's celebrate them as they come. Please check yourself. Are you seeing miracles happening? My God. On each other, is this how you celebrate miracles? Check yourself. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you please make your way to the front make your way to the front don't be ashamed clear the way for them for those who are outside jesus is healing people keep coming keep coming keep coming look miracles are happening here let's have a few people please allow them come allow them come check yourself right now do what you couldn't do you found out there is a miracle on each chart celebrate jesus people are coming god is able to do just what he said he will do it's god i'm so still promise to you let them come don't give up but god as he will Miracles are happening. Miracles, somebody has been healed. Someone has been healed from a crutch. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I get it by. Sit down for a few minutes, it will not take long. Do we have one pastor here? Okay, what happened to hold on, please? Just settle down. What's your name? You live around here? No, from Bob. Where is that? Is there a place like that? Yes, the next town. I'm so sorry. The reason why we ask like this is because sometimes when things happen like this, you know, sometimes people think it's stage managed, so sometimes. It's good to just find out their locations. Are we together? You came with this crotch? Yes, How I'm coming. I'm coming now. No, just now, 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 now. You are, you are just arriving. Yes, yes. Hey! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Show us. Hold on. Show us how you were walking before. How were you walking? Look at this. This is how you were walking. Now let the devil see how you are walking. Lift it up and let the devil see how you walk now. Move. Walk. Look at this. Hallelujah. Watch this. Give me the crutch. You see, my brothers and my sisters, watch this. When miracles happen like this, it's more than just showing that a man of God is anointed. This is if Jesus Christ someone who was not even here when i was preaching ah. creator of the universe what can you do Another miracle here. What happened, Canon? Hold on. 
he was really watching the miracle when it happened. He saw how they. Oh, you, you, were, you were there. It was just like an elite shock on the woman. On the woman. And she began to. She walk. fell down and was shaking. You and saw her. I saw her. All of us saw her outside. All glory to Everything God. that will not allow you go forward, I command it must give way now. Amen. It must give way now. It must give way now. Hallelujah. God bless you, madam. May it never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Please sit down for a few minutes. Yes, please. She used to have breast lump. Give her the mic. By the What's your name? I'm Lillian. Please settle down so we can hear. What's your name? Lillian. What happened to you? I have a very... Um, like you had a breast lump. For how long? Since early this year, January. Early this year. But Touch it now. It's no breast longer It's gone. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> Completely gone. Yes, sir. My name is Sukumika Esther. Okay. I can you live, where do you live, madam? On the child. Okay. I, I have a very long here, big one, very. You powerful. have a big lump. Yes, for the moment you are praying. And now you are dormant. Yes, sir. What happened now? It has disappeared. Oh come on! Oh come on! Look at this. Run, madam. Check yourself. Hold on. Hold on. Check yourself. Press it. No pain. Please come, woman of God. Please come. I like us to check. Just verify. Where was it? Where was the pain before? It was a big lump. For how long? Huh? Two years. Check it now. Any pain? No, no. Any pain? Yes, please. Hold on. Okay, very quickly. My left ear, I noticed some sounds in my left ear. And when, when you were praying, you mentioned about the left ear. And now my ear is clear. Completely clear. My God. Yes, please. My All these are testimonies. Oh, dear. Okay, what, what will happen is, um, don't worry. Even if you cannot testify, we'll just note you. We just want the devil to see that Jesus is still alive in Onisha. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, go ahead. Okay, my name is Miracle. Um, I was reading... Your name is Miracle? Yeah. What a beautiful name. So, I was breathing heavily at the back. I almost died. But if you were? Me, I was breathing heavily at the back. You were okay. breathing? Yes, okay. heavily at the back. I almost died. But nothing is said, the breathing should stop. <laughs> Completely. Breathe in and out. In and out. You made Any pain. In and out. No pain. It goes forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Yes, please. My name is Divine. I've been having migraine for over two weeks now. Come again? I've been having migraine for over two weeks. Migraine? Yes, sir. As soon as you mention my case, Something like an object just flew out. Of just me. flew out. Yes, sir. Every tree that has not been planted by God, we uproot it now. We uproot it now. Yes, please. My name is Onye Chiku. I had high problem before, but you had high gone. problem. How old are you? Ten, ten plus. Okay, and you had high problem already. That devil is a liar. And what happened to you now, my dear? She's gone. Completely, you can see me. Listen, let me teach you something about miracles. Miracles don't just show that a man is anointed. Miracles have messages tied to it. If God can open the eyes of a lady like this, that means he's telling you the spirit of revelation is also within reach. You see that now? It's more than just the physical miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. I, I came here with a boil in my eye. You came here with a boil? Yes. In I your eye? Yes. I felt pains in my throat and my green. And my now, the boil is gone. I can't even see anything on your eyes. Listen, for some of you, what you are watching here at this crusade, carry that same miracle back to your altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. When they ask you and say, when did this start? Tell them you came for the quarry site conference. And here you contacted grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. My name is Promise. 
I have a pain at the left ear of mine. Yes. And I can't see what is written anywhere, but now I can see and you I can, can see hear it completely. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Yes, Praise please. That. My name is Shinyere. I used to have something on my neck. I was about to go for the surgery to remove it. But you just pray and the thing, there is no more anything. It's gone now. Yeah. Shout hallelujah, you. It's gone completely. Okay, very quickly. Yes, let me hear her testimony. Does she have a testimony? Please, quickly, quickly. Let's. I've let been having this serious pain on my right knee for a very long time. Okay. And I can't really stand for a long time. And right so, now. And right now it has gone Check when it. you mentioned Check it. I can't. Any pain. Any pain. Let the devil see you doing it. No pain. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. My name is Chukunye Dabrechi. Just this uh, afternoon and a few hours ago, I was complaining to my friend that I want to fall down and my head is actually aching me as in, it was aching me as if I want to fall down along that road. What but happened now? Pray, it fizzled away. What happened now? Completely fizzled, gone. Yes, in the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Saudi Haramaka. I used to have glaucoma. I had this glaucoma. One. Yes, sir. But now I can see. You couldn't better. see very well when you came here. But faintly, but now I can see far You can better. see clearly. Yes, sir. <laughs> can you see my watch? Can you see this? Yes, sir. As small as it is. Yes, sir. Can you see this? Yes, sir. My God, give Jesus praise. That's a miracle. Some of you are medical doctors here. Glaucoma is a very serious condition. It never returns to you, madam, in the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Yes, Apostle, please. wonderful testimony here. Yes, sir. please. I have a friend. It's good. She has cancer. Breast cancer. She has breast cancer. <laughs> the thing was done over her. It wanted me up. I told her to come here, but she couldn't make it. So I told her I would pray for her. That the man of God told her she should check her. But I told her then. She not told me that she's healed. She can't find the cancer. Where is the friend? Where is she? My goodness, my God. Where is the friend? The friend is in school. Where is the school? That's what I'm saying. Umunze. What's that? A, a school in Anambra. Is there a school like far. that? Yeah. A very far. Facet. And right now she can't find it. Oh dear. Hear me. Every trouble you left at home, before you get home, meet a miracle waiting for you there. In the name of Jesus, meet a miracle waiting for you there. I come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everything that you left that is trouble at home, go back and meet a miracle waiting for you. Please, let's have two or three, and then I'll pray a general prayer for everyone. Our time I'm is gone. Yes, please. My name is Sucho Chukuoko. I've been suffering from asthma for, for more than 20 years. Asthma? Yeah. For more than 20 years? Yeah. For like two weeks now, I've been having, I've been, I'm finding it difficult to breathe well. Yes. The thing is even disturbing me now. After the prophetic word that came, I felt on the anointing. Yeah, Breathe I, in and out. Any pain? No. Asthma no. goes forever, no. never no. to return. No. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. My name is Miracle. Since childhood, I've been having novel pain. So, in um, 2018, I received hearing from Reverend Canon, I came on, doing one day prayer. Okay. But after that, it's moved to my abnormal. Every month, we used to go to the hospital. But right now, I fell under the anointing and the pain that I used to and see. And it's gone it's completely. Gone. It's gone completely. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. I am Isuchuku. Uh, I, I have severe uh, pains in my, on my waist for okay. like more than five years. Okay. And I came here sick after preparing for this program. So, uh, and as you are praying, uh, I don't even know, I had to run to the step and staircase and sit, uh, yes. sit down there. So, I'm sitting down here when you started praying, I don't know, everything changed. Uh, Completely. I can't even tell. It never returns to you again in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Daddy, I've been feeling very, very, very weak when I came here. But now I cannot feel it. Because the, the weakness will just make me fall down. People will just be running for me. But now I cannot feel hold it. Hold on, hold on. 
understand what this lady is saying. Sometimes you just fall down like that. Fall down. And people because run away from you. We just be running away from me. Oh my God. Now imagine if this was your child. And now what happened? I cannot feed that. Completely. I cannot feed it. Father, let it never return again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Please, the next person. Very my good. name is Watchful Blessing. I do have severe pains on this side and the pains all over my two legs. Yes. And I do sleep with dead people, even my dead husband. He's oh always God. sleeping with me and my, my dead elder sister and my mother. Always. Since three months, this thing is happening to me. But now I am here. Hear me. The living and the dead have no relationship. Let me prophesy to you. If there is any dead person coming to you in dreams, is the spirit of the grave trying to call you? I stand in the name of Jesus on which I hear the word of the Lord. I separate you from anything that has to do with the spirit of the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Gladys George. I came from Asaba. Today, I came here with Algoita. You this came thing, here with goiter. Yes, this thing medically I'm verified. Yes. Now I cannot even feel the love. Medically thing. verified. Yes. You went to the hospital. Yes. Check her. I can't yes. see anything yes. there. Look at this. Yes. Look at this. Yes. Goiter yes. is disappeared. Yes. Come on now. Look at this. My name is Mwenke Joshua. I came from an I came from an state. I've, from last year September, I've been having a lot of pain from this my joint to here. I can't walk well. So in my school, I told our what? schools, I told our president how we, how I felt because it, it, it makes me not to perform well because I, I was an A school. So due to the, the, the kind of pains that I'm in here, I can't walk. But Your when legs? you are praying, yeah, from this joint, my right oh, you leg. you can't walk well. Yes, yes. Walk now. Walk now. Walk now. You can even see the legs. That's all right. You can even see the other legs. My friend, look at me. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. The life and the miracle working power of Jesus. Let's take one more. Don't worry, my dear people. I know that there are people right to the door. Just be patient. I will speak a word and then maybe in the other sessions there should be room for these testimonies it doesn't matter through who god brought the testimony the most important thing is that jesus has been glorified tonight yes please go ahead my name is blessed before i don't believe in miracles you didn't believe in miracles <laughs> i was asking god because i had short-sightedness after you say that someone that does not see from far i fell and i stood up i i don't believe it but I, that i was just saying just i just believe believe this time and i you said we should come i know i know how to come because i believe that maybe it's, it's a lie but as i was coming my eyes were just clearing your eyes was clear this young lady didn't believe in miracles ah. i see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere of you i'm sorry because of our time i pray for all of you who have received miracles in the name of jesus you can go ahead and testify in the other sessions and you can also testify in your local assemblies like i said the most important thing is that jesus was lifted and glorified more than the vessel that he used the most important thing is to know that jesus is alive and let me tell you miracles are real they still happen they have not ended Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I stretch my hands over all of you who have been healed, who have received miracles. In Jesus' name, the miracles remain permanent. In Jesus' name, the miracles remain permanent. Are you ready to pray now? Please rise up on your feet. It's time for someone's destiny to be opened. Unto you that answers prayer, 
shall all flesh come many of you what you have written here are death sentences don't worry still come come with them if there's anyone who has not dropped it please be patient we're praying I believe with all my heart this was a revelation that God gave me and every time we stand in agreement praying my brothers and my sisters I want you to believe in the power of prayer stretch your hands here whilst we pray and declare to yourself that these Egyptians I see today I see them no more forever go ahead and pray go ahead and pray Arise, O mighty God. Arise, O mighty God. Let there be miracles. All kinds of miracles. Miracles of fruitfulness. the Lord I'd like you to stand in agreement with me father as a united body of Christ over on each other regardless denominational affiliation together as the body of Christ we name the name of your son Jesus Christ and I pray over every request that is here I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ and I pray and prophetically declare that every request here is hereby turned into a testimony every request here is hereby turned into a testimony hear me every man that must let you go for this prayer to be answered we compel them to let you go now And any man who says over his dead body for this to be turned to testimonies may the earth open and swallow them my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory Charge over me, Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. In the name of Jesus, the same way I am standing on your prayer request, everything that has risen above you, we bring it under your feet. Every shame and every reproach comes under your feet now yeah. hallelujah now very quickly if if you will allow maybe just let's just have two or three people i would want at least the fathers of faith we're about to speak over the land and then i'll do the final impartation and we're done but you see there are things like i shared in the morning that cannot be done no matter how powerful and how anointed you are it would take the corporate anointing and so if if you do not mind if we can just have one or two or three of our fathers 
to just come and stand they are going to be declaring as touching their authority please let's honor them as they come onisha learn to honor the fathers they are going to be making decrees please get another mic do we have celebrate your fathers as they come celebrate your fathers as they come hallelujah now please listen please listen the fathers are standing here as a prophetic sign that the body of christ in onicha and anambra is coming into a greater level of oneness yeah. hallelujah yeah. number two i want you to believe in every declaration that the fathers are going to be making over the land hallelujah okay Please celebrate one of the fathers as he comes up. I want you to be patient. This is a prophetic conference. Hallelujah. And so I'm going to be handing the mic to them as they make that declaration for uh, while you are receiving. Make sure that your children connect in the spirit. Make sure that everything, your business, whatever it is. I tell you, after this conference, this land cannot remain the same. By this, by this privilege of the position of the fathers within this territory, let an end come to jealousy, to fighting. Can I be honest with you? We will not all do the same thing. But regardless what we do, I have come, like I said, sent by God to stand in faith with our fathers and everybody to say we are better together. We are better together. What I cannot see, another person can see. And we must be able to shelve our differences and stand. Hallelujah. So please receive the prayers of the fathers over you and over the land in Jesus' name. Okay, let me, let me start. Um, let me also first of all say that mine will not just be a prophetic declaration. Since Monday when we started this program, there is a very big burden that God laid in my heart. Because I know that one of the greatest things hindering revival in our land is the issue of lack of love among ministers. We have envy, we have bickerings, we have schism, we have backbiting, we have gossip, we have jealousy, and I think we should address that spirit. Because once we address it and clear it from the air, I believe that the power of God will come down mightily upon us. The love of God. So I am led to make my declaration in this dimension. Father, as I raise my hand, over this city and over Anambra State and that the spirit of love will rest upon your ministers in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Father, take away envy, take away jealousy, take away gossip, take away rivalry. Let your power be seen among your people. Let your love be felt among your people in the name of Jesus Christ. We stand in the authority of the word of God and we prophesy great revival, not just upon Anambra State, but upon the eastern part of this country. We command a mighty move of the Holy Ghost. We decree end to idolatry. We decree to evil practices. We speak and raise men of power and authority to lead in the affairs of this East in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, 164 years ago, you led your people and the seed of the gospel was soon here. This land. And from here, the light of salvation, the light of education, the light of commerce, the light of government, the light of development spread all over Nigeria. How come that darkness is coming back in the form of idolatry and evil tradition to take over? God, you are restoring your church. Let the power of restoration start from this land again. Spread all over Ibo land. Spread all over eastern Nigeria. Spread to the north. Spread to the west. Spread to the south. Let the light shine. And let the power of darkness fall in the name of Jesus. Lord, I stand on the rock of ages to declare this night that all the forces of darkness that has taken over Anambra State, especially Onisha, be brought to die in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Wickedness in the high places. Shedding of blood. Snatching of lives, killings in families, husbands are divorcing everywhere. Women are divorcing their husbands. Husbands are divorcing their wives. Today is the end of that in the name of Jesus. If you go around on each other, you will notice that our wives and young ones especially the female, and now engaging themselves, initiating themselves in what they call Oumiri. All the spirit of Oumiri in our nature, I condemn you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> if we look around, you can see that members of secret court is taking over the church. All of you who are members of Secret Corp, who are taking over the church, depart in the name of Jesus. I declare total liberation. Total liberation. Total liberation. Upon the church of God. Upon Onicha. Upon Anambra State. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father and our God, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for your presence. Father, we pray that even in this meeting, your spirit has gone out and impact has been made in the lives of the people. Father, we pray that from this place, we spread this power over and across an Anambra state Amen. so that your presence may be felt in our lives in Jesus name Amen. deal with anything that war or fight against the kingdom values in Jesus name Amen. may those who name by your name may be people appointed and destined to make heaven in the end in Jesus name Amen. May we go out in this strength and be victorious in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Oh, I sing the day of Pentecost. Fire for Oh, I sing the day of Pentecost. Fire for Glorious Father, send down your consuming fire upon this dead to consume all altars of idolatry in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. To consume all altars of witchcraft in Jesus' name. Amen. To consume all altars of bitterness in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, set your people free. When the Son says people free, they are free indeed. May your children be free indeed. May your love be implanted. Father, let your light shine among your children in this state that they may see your glory and be drawn to you and remain in you forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me just seal this prayer so that our fathers can go and sit down. You know, our father who started, he spoke about love. And I have been an advocate of love for a long time. No matter our differences, only we fight if we are alive. Hallelujah. Dead people don't fight. So we must see to it that we become promoters. Here and there, there will be needs to correct things, adjust things, but we must have a high level of allowance. Praise the name of the Lord. And I stand in the presence of our fathers over Onisha and then Anambra State and we declare the spirit of mutual honor. May that spirit rest upon the servants of God. And I decree and I declare that as a result of this meeting, people who have all kinds of needless grievances let there be genuine reconciliation and i pray again by the power of the holy spirit may god preserve the fathers in this land they will live long to see their prayer answered we pray all of this in the name of the father in the name of the son and in the name of the holy spirit Amen. Let's honor the fathers as they return back. Please celebrate them as they go to their seats. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you now. I believe in impartation. Impartation is a transference of graces. Hallelujah. Every time God sends a word to Jacob, it is because he intends for it to reach Israel like never before there are many of you here who are calling to the ministry of prophetic intercession may the mantle and the grace for that ministry let it rest upon you now don't worry just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out may that grace rest upon you now number two the anointing that shifts men to have divine encounters supernatural encounters may that grace some of you it will meet you in your place of retreat it will meet you whilst you sleep may that grace rest upon you now every dead prayer life here every dead word study life be found to flames afresh in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for every ministry here. There are women ministries here, intercessory ministries, prophetic ministries, all kinds of ministries. In the name of Jesus, may the good hand of God rest upon you. Let me pray for campus fellowships and different groups. 
in the name of Jesus may the fire of God rest upon every campus in Anambra State every covenant with the earth every covenant with the waters every covenant with the air programming evil and causes on people I stand by the unction of the spirit and I declare broken now oh earth hear ye the word of the Lord any enchantment that uses you as a point of contact we declare that power broken now hear me the spirit of untimely death that follows families just when people are about to emerge they just die I declare in the name of Jesus may the grace for long life rest upon you now hear me please the Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work there are evil spirits that make people labor just when they're about to rest they either die or something happened whatever your hands have started in your lifetime you will finish it yeah. hallelujah it is no news that the east of the niger has suffered in recent times the activities of terrorists killing disturbing the peace and the progress of people I come by the rod of the higher priesthood and we speak to the earth everyone who does not name the name of Christ and will not give your territory peace they go down now the Bible says and the stars fought for Deborah it is not only men that will fight may the elements of nature begin to fight anyone who does not name the name of Christ hallelujah let me pray for you any wrong association in your life programming you to become a shame a reproach to parents every spirit of dishonor and rebellion among children to parents we cast that spirit now hallelujah hear me every manifestation of irresponsibility among young people one of the blessings of the east is the blessings of responsibility and diligence god has placed grace upon these hands so any young man who is not doing anything is just a lazy person i pray that the spirit of laziness and irresponsibility will drive it far from your territory hear me if there is anyone here who is in any kind of financial trouble a court case or you are in debt I don't care how you got there by the message of the God of David come out of it now come out of it now come out of it now hear me once again let the spirit of evangelism genuine soul winning let the spirit of encounters moral excellence let it rest upon your land you have honored me in this land your fathers have graciously honored me may the honor that follows this office may it rest upon you may the honor that follows this office may it rest upon you hear me from today any man that fights you goes down instantly now let me speak over the territory on each other hear the word of the lord lift up your heads oh ye gates i speak to the tulip gates of this territory no matter what has closed you i hold the key of david and I declare, may the gates be open, open for development, open for the gospel, open for advancement, open for breakthrough, 
open for increase it shall not be short day or night may you receive the forces of the gentiles in the name of jesus and finally by the privilege of god's grace i cannot end this without speaking over this humble vessel of god that was used by god and his precious wife the bible says a worker is deserving of his wages it took the cooperation of the anglican communion and then the body of christ but there was a vessel every house is built by some man even though god is the builder of all sir i pray for you by the privilege of the election of grace together with your dear wife this level that you are may this be the least you will ever be we place a mantle of honor upon your life that in the name of jesus god will raise helpers financial helpers prayer helpers wise counselors your children will eat from your sacrifice there are many things you will not need to do for your children again because by your sacrifice god will raise men to do it for them and let me pray for everyone here who contributed i understand that people gave money people gave vehicles others paid for all kinds of things in the name that is above all names god is not a fraudster god is not a scammer i speak over your life and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency in all things that you are bound to every good work i prophesy increase over your life yeah. hallelujah finally every business represented in onisha every business represented in anambra state i forbid you from going down yeah. hear me the wealth in this state will not only be managed by one person let it be three four generations of people together in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you the lord increase you the lord honor you you will dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development Lord, grant me the discipline.